I am Luna Ray Star Goddess, and I'm here to do your what is going on with the person um, that's on your mind. We're going to see what messages uh, Spirit has for you in regards to your person and what's going on in their life, what they're not telling you, okay? Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to this channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore just in a code? Personal readings are available. Email me at divinelyguide2. I am running a special for the month of January and February. Um, so email me so you get the um, the prices for the readings. Um, Everything else will be down in the description box below this reading. So let's jump into it. Spirit, what is going on with the collective's um, person? Whoever is on the collective's mind, what is going on with their person, Spirit? What does the collective needs to be aware of in regards to the person that is on their mind, Spirit? Give me messages for the collective in regards to the person that's on their mind. What is going on with them? Somebody could be moving. Somebody could be trying to uh, find a place to uh, live, lo relocate. Somebody, yeah, somebody could be trying to figure out where they want to move to. What's going on with the person that's on your mind? What is going on with the person on your mind? Ooh. Ooh. Higher learning. I heard that. Higher learning. What is going on with the person on your mind? Collective, what's going on with the person that's on your mind? I feel like you're motivating them. I don't know um, what you're displaying. Um, like, say if you have a social media, if you have a platform, or it can be word of mouth. Like, say if you and your person of interest have mutual friends, and the friend, the mutual friend could be going back telling your person, like, you know, what you've been up to. I heard casual talk. I feel like um, if you and your person have like a mutual friend or mutual friends, I feel like your name will be brought up during conversations. Like, hey, um, what's up? What's up, bro? Or, hey, girl, you know, whatever, right? And your person will mention like, so, you know, have you talked to Collective or what Collective been up to? Shit, Collective been doing good. They just bought them a new house, a new car. They got them a new job. They looking good. They stepped their game up, you know, whatever. And I feel like whatever's being um, discussed about you to your person of interest, that is motivating them to, like, want to step their game up or to want to do better in their life. And then um, the other message I'm getting, like, if this is social media, like, if whatever you're posting or whatever uh, whatever you're po posting on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, TikTok, Snapchat, your person sees this. And I feel like that's motivating them to become, like, a, I heard a better man, to become, like, a better man. And then if you're a, a man watching this, um, t uh, whatever you're doing is helping a woman to become, like, a, a better woman. So we have the emperor. We have the hangman. We have the judgment, all these major arcanas. We have um, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands, with the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody person can be in Aries. Um, we have Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mm, I could say Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but with this Ace of Swords, I feel like it's um, somebody's mind is expanding. Like, somebody could have had, like, a rigid mindset or, like, a fixated mindset. But, like, I heard since they met you... 
And I heard updates since they met you or seen updates about you or if a person been going back. Look, this is my stalking slash liking card. If a person been going back telling the person that's on your mind what you've been up to, I feel like that's expanding their mind. Or, yes, yeah, like now somebody, they want to change. They want to change. Another message I'm getting collective what's going on with the person on your mind i feel like they're um doing some self-reflection on their actions and they're realizing like how they treated women or how they treated people in the past i feel like they're not happy about their actions i heard how, how they treated you i feel like um i heard solitude so during this moment of solitude um in regards to the person on your mind i feel like in solitude they think about how they treated people and um they think about like how they treated you in the past and it wasn't right. It wasn't right. I feel like um back then the person on your mind they could have um they could have been juggling you or you could have been like one of many options they had. And I, I feel like now they're realizing like what they did to you was wrong. And then another message I'm getting with this stalking and lurking card. Yeah, I feel like they've been, um, somebody been keeping up with you like this whole entire time. So, like, say if the person that's on your mind, say if y'all have been in no communication, or say if y'all do communicate here and there or every blue moon, every six months, once a year, twice a year, you know, if it's not consistent with the communication or how often y'all see each other, I feel like throughout this whole entire time, like if your person went months or even years without communicating with you, what you don't know is throughout this whole entire time, they've been keeping up with you. They've been keeping up with what you've been doing, uh, what you up to, if social media is involved, what you've been posting. And then like if y'all have mutual friends, they will ask about you. Um to y'all mutual friends i feel like somebody is emotionally um maturing i feel like back then um somebody wasn't aware of i heard their actions another mess i'm getting um like say if y'all person been like a hot ass mess right and say if like they've been um dogging women out or dogging men out like from their perspective they didn't do nothing wrong like <laughs> it's like from their perspective you know i'm just you know i'm just this is dating i'm just this is the rules to dating right but you know it's like you don't have to be so cruel or mean or disrespectful to women or disrespectful to men i feel like back then your person didn't realize how they treated you and then like how they treated other i heard other exes but it's like now since they came in contact with you it's like you're making them see i heard the man in the mirror you making this person like look at themselves in the mirror and now they're realizing that they have faults that they have flaws another mess i'm getting i feel like somebody could have been delusional or your person could have been like narcissistic so according to them they just the, the perfect being um god didn't make no mistakes when they when god created your person and um they don't disrespect women they don't disrespect men they they the truth they they honest um you know it's like back then that's how they felt but once they, I heard lost you, once they lost you, that's when they realized, like, hold on, wait a minute. How I treated collective and how I treated other people, that wasn't cool. Or, damn, I used to be rude as fuck. It's okay to be honest with somebody, but you don't have to be rude about the shit. You don't have to hurt their feelings. I feel like back then, your person didn't realize, like, their actions. And now... Since they lost you or since y'all have like some type of a strange relationship, this is what ma this is what's making your person look at themselves in the mirror like, damn, I am flawed. Damn, um, shit, I do make mistakes. Damn, I was an asshole. It's something like this that I'm picking up on, y'all. This is interesting. Another message I'm getting, um... If you have more than one person, like say if 
you have like two or three different dudes on your mind or something or two to three different women on your mind, <laughs> right? Say if you like one more than the other, but you you got like a few people, excuse me, a few people on your mind. I feel like it's another person. Whoever this person is, um, they still in their player type ways, but this person, um, they still think about you too with the ace of swords, with the, the knight of wands. This is my fuck nigga call it. Like inconsistent, charming. They got options with the seven of pentacles. Um, but I'm, I'm getting like two different men out here. Actually three different men. Because we got the emperor, the king of cups with the knight of wands. Um, I got like three different men. Another message I'm getting collective, I feel like you have men questioning themselves, like, what is it about me? Like, why collective um, didn't choose me? Or why collective uh, ghosted me? Or why collective um, had a baby with this man and not me? I feel like you have different men questioning themselves and, like, thinking about like, why you didn't choose them or something like that. Or I heard it didn't work out. I feel like you have different... Whoever I'm picking up on, because we got the Emperor with the King of Cups, with the Knight of Wands. I feel like you have different men questioning, like, um, I heard sleep with them. Another mess I'm getting, if, if it's a person. I'm not going to say this person be on your mind. This person can be on your mind. But another message I'm picking up on, I feel like it's a person that got you on their mind and if you did not sleep with this person think about like a person you could have dated or messed around with but y'all never took it there i feel like it's a man or a woman they questioning themselves like damn like what is it about me like do collective think i'm ugly as hell or like why they didn't sleep with me why they didn't give me a chance or something like that i would have treated collective i would have treated them um like the like a, a queen or i would have treated them with respect i would have um made them my girlfriend made them my wife or made them my husband made them my boyfriend or something but i feel like you didn't choose this person i feel like this is what's fucking with them but like i said i feel like it's different people though <laughs> it's different people another message i'm getting with all these major arcanas um collective i feel like you need to give yourself more credit than what you give yourself or something like that because i see different people in their feelings in regards to you or you got different people questioning themselves or you got different people um it's like ego tripping or Something with their confidence. You could have fucked with the, these people confidence because you didn't sleep with them or you didn't give them a chance or something like that. And they, they want to know, like, damn, am I really a terrible person or do they really think I'm not attractive or do they really think I'm broke as hell or something that I, I couldn't take care of them and treat them like the woman they supposed to be treated or something? The T is that I feel like it's different people different men or if you a man it's different women questioning like why you didn't choose them or something like that that's some gang this supposed to be what is going on uh with the person that's on your mind but i'm getting like several different people at least like three different people and i feel like all the another mess i'm getting um for another group of y'all i feel like it's at least at least three different men that still keep up with you or still think about you, still watch you still to this very day. And they all wondering, like, why the fuck you didn't give them a chance or why you didn't sleep with them? Why you, you know, chose somebody else over them? Why you had a baby with somebody else or something like that? Why you had kids with somebody else? Why you married somebody else? I feel like all these men or all these women, they're thinking about this um, when, when it comes to you. Somebody's birthday can be on the 4th, the 12th, the 7th, the 20th.
Yeah, we have the, the Four of Swords with the Nine of Swords. Look at these cards. Look at these cards, y'all. Yeah, I feel like it's these men. Uh, somebody be driving men crazy, collective. I feel like y'all be driving these men crazy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this information or uh, shit. I'm the, the gorgeous oracle bitch. I'm exposing. So I don't know if you know this, but I, I feel like um, people you dated, they were crazy over you. This is some more tea. Like, say if you used to be crazy um, over a man or a couple of your exes, the tea is that they were crazy about you too, but they were better at concealing um, that they, they were better at hiding their craziness too. Like, the feelings were mutual, right? But somebody could have been more open about their craziness. <laughs> I feel like somebody could have been more open about like being crazy behind a man or a woman. And then whoever y'all were crazy over, they was just as crazy over you too. But I feel like it was concealed or, you know, they were better at keeping their emotions intact or something like that. I have this out here too, y'all. That's song gang. And then another message I'm getting. Um, so what's going on uh, with the person on your mind? So if the person on your mind has something going on with another woman. So like say if the person on your mind said they um, got a, a girlfriend, a fiance, a wife, or if you're a man, the person on your mind got a, a boyfriend, a fiance, or a husband. What's going on with them? I feel like it, it's trouble in paradise. With the Four of Swords, with the Nine of Swords, with the Five of Wands, I feel like it's shot her trouble in paradise. I feel like they having issues. Yeah, look, the Ten of Cups. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles. This is my family card. We supposed to be building this, the Ten of Pentacles, this is legacy. Like, we building, we're going to have um, a family business. We got businesses together. We're going to pass our businesses down to our children and to our grandchildren, right? But the T is that I feel like it's, it's trouble in paradise with the Four of Swords, with the Nine of Swords, with the fighting, arguing, with the family, okay? So, group one. If your person got a family with somebody else, trouble in paradise. Group two, somebody could be having issues with their family. So they could be having, so what's going on with your person? Group two, they could be having issues with like their mom, dad, siblings, uh, you know, other relatives, cousins, um, shit. Yeah, they having issues with, with their family. But group two. Spirit, clarify this page of swords. This is the stalking slash lurking card. What's going on with the person on your mind? Um, if the person on your mind got somebody else, I feel like it's a crazy woman. Whoever this crazy woman is, they keep up with everything you post, especially if this is social media. Y'all look at my, this my stalking, lurking card. Y'all see this um, card? This woman got a book in her hand, but she's reading. Like somebody, especially if it's somebody on Facebook, a crazy woman keep up with your statuses, your posts, everything you post, um, TikTok, Instagram. Your person, whoever on your mind, if they got somebody else, Okay, it's two types of crazies. I feel like it's cr collective. If you were crazy over your person, your type of crazy was like crazy in love. Somebody got with a woman, this bitch is like psychopathic. <laughs> Psychopath. Um... Scary, like this person's supposed to be in a psych psych ward or something. And whoever this person is, they be randomly laughing. They be laughing at shit that's not even funny. They be it, it but it's a weird, like it, it comes off as bizarre. So like somebody got with a woman and this woman is so bizarre. Like they'll be driving in the car and next thing you know, they'll just bust out laughing. <laughs> And this person's at the red light. Like, 
Like somebody got with a crazy bitch. Like that's on period. Um, so collective, be on the lookout, be aware, because I feel like it's a crazy person, a bizarre person. Um, this bitch is on your ass. Whoever, whoever y'all person is, whoever they got with, this person is crazy to where I advise y'all to stay far away from this person if possible because it's like somebody's actions, especially if this is a woman, this woman's actions. It's like uncertainty or um, unpredictable. And then their actions is a weird. Like, the shit that's really funny, they don't laugh at it. But, like, when when shit is not funny, they, they, they be dying laughing. And then it be weird, too. Like, they'll just be driving or they'll be cooking or they'll be trying to go to sleep. Next thing you know, this woman, gee, 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 gee. like they'll just start laughing. This bitch is crazy. Stay far away from this person. And whoever this person is, they know all about you, collective. Be aware of this shit. Be aware of this woman. Crazy. Diabolical. Mm mm. Mm mm. Stay far away from this person. That's what's going on. Another message I'm getting. Um, what's going on with your person? They trying to figure out how to get rid of this crazy psychopathic woman. Like this person is so crazy to where I feel like your person thought about like, damn, should I should I fake my death? Should I fake my death to get away from this person? <laughs> That's how I'm telling you. Somebody is with a psychopath for real. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Spirit, clarify the page of swords. It's scary. Somebody's actions are scary. But in this woman's mind, she feel like she's cool. She feel like she's funny. She's fun. Your person love her. Your person love to have her around and shit like that. But really, this person, mm -mm, bizarre. I keep hearing bizarre. Spirit, put on the page of swords. What's going on with the person on your mind? The Ten of Wands. Another message I'm getting. Um, I feel like your person made several attempts to leave this um uh, this bizarre woman. And I feel like every time when they break up, I heard temporarily, that's when this crazy woman watch out like a hawk. Cause they feel like they person is is coming straight to you or something like that. Another message I'm getting, somebody's with like a childish woman too. It's like this woman is bizarre and they real childish as hell too. I feel like when your person get, like when they hang out with this woman or even if they live together, they don't never do adult things. They don't talk about real life, real adult problems. It's like everything is all fun and games. Like somebody act like a little girl. Like when they... Like, interact with your person or something. It's like your person has to talk to them like a little girl. It's like the way your person communicate with this woman. They don't, somebody's a grown-ass, old-ass woman, but they communicate and they act like a, a child or something like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's bizarre. I keep hearing bizarre. Another message I'm getting, um, what's going on with the person that's on your mind? I feel like they left this woman, but the T is that they left this woman on a few occasions, but they went to other women. But this bizarre woman, somebody is, whoever this bizarre woman is, they stay on your ass all the time. But they don't question like the other women that the person that's on your mind that they sleep with or that they dating, whoever this bizarre woman is, 
they know. I heard they know. They know about the other women, but their main this bizarre woman. They main focus is y'all. That's on game. And then if you a man, I feel like it's a bizarre man that's on your ass. And whoever this woman is, like Seth, it's a woman that's dealing with a crazy dude. It's like the dude know that this woman, like, had a whole nother dude or uh, other boyfriends and shit. But this dude is still worrying about you collective. It's some shit like this going on with the person that's on your mind. <sighs> so, yeah. So, my advice, be aware of this. Be aware of... Uh, I heard watch your surroundings too. Watch your surroundings because I feel like somebody is so bizarre to where they could have tried to look up your address or tried to follow, try to to follow y'all person that's on your mind to see if he coming to your house and realizing that this woman followed him to a whole nother woman house or something. Bitch, be aware of this person. Somebody is crazy as hell. It's crazy, but mm -mm. it's not like a, somebody is crazy, but it's like a scary type of crazy, like, <laughs> I don't know, it's something like this, but yeah, I need to uh, finish the individual signs for January, but yeah, thank you, bye-bye.